If there was one bit of advice you would give to a new student, what will it be? My number one piece of advice to new students would be try everything you can because you're probably going to enjoy quite a lot of what you do. And also don't worry about making friends because it will all fall into place. One of the biggest pieces of advice that I would give someone who's starting senior school would be don't panic about making friends. For me, I came from a very small primary school and I was worried that I wouldn't fit in or I wouldn't make friends. I promise you that is not the case. You go to a school where there are so many new people, many of whom, you know, have never been there before. And I guarantee so many of them will have the exact same worries that you have. So trust me, you will make friends, you'll fit in, you'll be happy. So there's no point worrying about it. Hi, I'm interested to know what the best thing about secondary school is. Um, now, this was a hard one for me because there are just so many good things to look forward to. Um, you'll make so many new friends that will last you for a lifetime, sure. And um, obviously there's so many new subjects that you might not have studied before. Um, for example, design and technology, um, computer science, home economics, which is cooking. Um, and there's just so many great new interesting things to learn. But I think the number one thing for me here at Swoops is all the different clubs that you can join and all the different activities you can be part of. There's music, there's drama, sport, art, whatever you want to do really. Um, and I've been a member of the school choirs and orchestra here for several years and I've just loved it because as well as you know having fun with your friends and maybe making new friends outside of your year group or people that you wouldn't normally see in your classes, um, they're just a great way to maybe step out of your comfort zone and try something new and um, to develop passions that you have at the moment or maybe just um, to find something you didn't even know you loved. Um, so I definitely recommend just getting involved with any clubs that you, that you see, um, getting stuck in because they're a real way to you know, develop your hobbies and to make new friends. I think for me, my favourite thing about secondary school is the fact I got to pick what subjects I take now and I can do the ones I like and drop the ones I didn't like. Hello, I want to ask you if the teachers are strict in the senior school. Hi Georgia, I heard you wanted to know if the teachers are strict at senior school. In the beginning, it might feel like they're a little bit stricter than the teachers at your current school, but it's only because they want to help you stay organised, keep on top of your homework and do the best you can at school. Being at senior school brings a lot more responsibility and independence than you're probably used to, and the teachers only want to help you succeed with that. So at times it might feel like they're being strict, but it's their way of helping, I promise. What do you like to do with your friends at break? I think it depends for everyone, um, but definitely when I was lower down in school I used to love going to the library at break and either returning books or taking books out, just getting the little jobs done. And I think it's really nice during morning break to spend some time outside, definitely when it's sunny, so in spring and summer. Um, but also, the morning break is a really good time to get ready for the day, so packing your bags, making sure you've gotten all your books, and also maybe having a snack. Um, and in lunchtime breaks, there are often school clubs, whether that be sports or music. And so it's a really good opportunity to meet new people who have the same passion as you. Hi, my name's Olivia and I wanted to ask what's your favorite food at lunch? All the food here at Sips is really yummy, so it is quite hard to choose a favorite, but the fish and chips on a Friday has definitely got to be one of the best. There's always a race for seconds and it's just so delicious. The lasagna is also really yummy as well, so that's amazing. Um, me being very healthy, I also love the, all the colourful salads. They're really nice as well, which go alongside with your main meal as well. Hello, my name's Orla. I love sport. So what types of sports do you play at school? And what's your favourite? Bye! Well, here at Swips, there are so many sports which you can do, from hockey, netball, rounders, rowing, athletics, tennis, cross-country, um, volleyball, gymnastics, trampolining, yoga. So there's just so much you can do, and there are loads of after-school clubs which you can do, and we pretty much compete in all of these as well. But if I did have to choose a favourite, I would absolutely have to say hockey, 
Although I do play outside of school, I just love coming and playing with my friends here at school. And I'm also grateful that I can get one-on-one -on -one coaching with our hockey coach. In lower school, I did every sport. I played hockey, I did rounders, I did netball. I even joined the volleyball team. And there was also badminton. I love to play every sport. And in year nine, I started rowing. And then I realized I love rowing. <laughs> so now I row quite a lot at Swips. I spend a lot of my time there. It's really fun and we do lots of good competitions. Who is your female role model? I think for me I would have to say that I really respect Michelle Obama. As a lawyer she does a lot for equal rights in gender and race which I think are both very important and although she gained a lot of influence through her marriage to the President Barack Obama I think she uses that influence to do good and to make a difference. And I think as a woman, um, seeing such a powerful and influential female figure is really inspiring to rise up and make a change. Uh, my female role model is Marie Curie because she was a renowned scientist who discovered the X-ray despite all the adversities against her for being a female. My female role model is Jacinda Ardern, who is the Prime Minister of New Zealand. She is a strong, independent woman, and I love that she breastfed during like a General Assembly or something. And she had her baby during the time she was the Prime Minister, and all her views I just think are amazing. Now, I think for me, my female role model has to be Miranda Hart. She's a comedian and an actress, and I think she's my female role model because her message of self-acceptance and um, going into every new thing with joy and with laughter is a really important one, especially when you're starting something new. I know that starting secondary school can seem scary, and I know that I was nervous as well, but I think that remembering to just be joyful in everything you do and also be kind to others and um, not judgmental, but just accepting everyone. My female role model is Michelle Obama because she's really inspiring and she also looks to uplift other women, which I think is really important. Um, my female role model has got to be Dame Jessica Ennis Hill, the British heptathlete. She proved everyone wrong by retaining her world championship title and getting a silver medal at the Olympics after having her first child. So yeah, that's really inspirational to me. My female role model would be my computer science teacher, Mrs. Timpson. She always has a massive smile on her face and she brings joy to everyone around her. She inspires me to work hard for my subjects and she's always there if I or anyone else need her. She's truly an amazing woman.